Hey you guys, so it's Kiosh and I'm back for another video. If you like my videos, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. I am at 8,000 subscribers and I would love to make it to 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you love any of my videos on my channel, if you like me as a person, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. Share these video with anybody that you think might like it and may also want to subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. So without further ado let's just get into the video okay you guys in today's video we're going to talk about how to stop wasting time and be more productive a lot of times you guys know that it's really hard to be productive especially when you have a full-time job a bunch of responsibilities and you just feel overwhelmed because you have so many things to do i find out that sometimes when i have too much stuff to do i just do nothing at all and then i lose all of my productivity i lose all of everything on my to-do list nothing gets done and i end up laying in bed all day and as my shirt says i'm a namaste in bed all day so being um productive is kind of a hard thing to do you have to sort of make a play you have to be conscious and you have to be determined to do whatever it is that you want to do so today i'm gonna give you my tips and tricks on how i stay super super productive especially on the weekends i work a full-time job monday through friday and youtube is like my side hustle so i usually do most of my youtube work on saturdays and sunday and in order to maximize my time i like to have a plan about what i'm gonna do for the weekends because nobody want to spend all weekend and have no fun don't go anywhere don't get any kind of chill time so I like to make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done when it comes related to my house and my kids and cleaning up and things like that and then I like to have a different schedule for my YouTube channel and that kind of helps me stay on track and help me get my videos recorded and things like that but today I'm just going to tell you guys how I am productive when it comes to my housework now during the week I don't do a lot of housework I do a lot of my housework on the weekend and so I want to show you guys exactly what I do to stay productive and then so if you want to see a video on how I do my YouTube productive um, schedule and how I do that then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and also leave me a comment below if you want to see the YouTube version of this video so let me just tell you what my tips are okay you guys so my first tip is to go ahead and wake up early so on the weekends I naturally get up about seven o'clock which is super early for the weekend during the weekday I mostly wake up about 5 30 because I have to be to work at 7 30 so I guess my body naturally about 7 o'clock is ready to get up so I kind of wake up with my natural but if you're not a morning person then you need to make a plan to wake up early on the weekend so you can get everything you need to get done so if you naturally wake up at a certain time go ahead and get up don't get on your phone don't get on your laptop don't go back to sleep don't roll over to 12 1 2 3 o'clock and in the afternoon and then all of your day is wasted and you've got nothing done that you wanted to do so when you wake up go ahead and wake up and get up and start your day okay you guys so my second tip is to make a plan for the day so naturally when i wake up the first thing i do is i go ahead and get my apple watch my apple watch is really key to keeping me on track throughout the day so i'll talk about that just a little bit later but go ahead and make a plan for the day so i use a bullet journal so i like to get my bullet journal out of my drawer and i like to go ahead and write down everything that i want to do and i kind of write it down um based on time so on the weekend i like to do what is called time blocking i'm new to it but it's really working out for me if you want to know videos how i time block or do time batching let me know and i'll make a video of that for you but i like to uh go ahead and write down what i'm gonna do i have like from seven i think to eleven on the weekends i go by time on the weekdays i just write all my tasks out and i try to get them done on that weekday or sometime before the the weekend but on Saturdays and Sundays I specifically have times written in my bullet journal that this time I'm gonna do this this time I'm gonna do that this time I'm gonna do this I'm gonna wash the dishes then I'm gonna clean the floor then I'm gonna make my bed then I'm gonna wash clothes then so make sure you make a plan for your day a specific plan and if you're not off on Saturdays and Sundays do it for your off days I find that if you get up early you're more productive on your off days you'll feel so much better about your week and the next time you have to go to work so go ahead and get up and make you a plan however you want to do it. it can be digitally it can be pen and paper whatever the case may be but make a plan okay you guys so my third tip is to go ahead and make your bed there's I, now this is something that 
really works for me because I find out if I don't make my bed and I don't make it all nice and neat and put all my pillows on there and put my teddy bear on there and do all this, I'm going to get back into bed. If my bed is super neat and nice, I'm not going to get into bed. I'll most likely come sit here in my Papa John chair, which I can sit here for a little while, but then after a while I'll be like, uh, I need to get up and do stuff. But when you're in your bed, you can easily fall asleep. You can easily pull them covers back over your head. So go ahead and make up your bed so you don't have any reason to get back in it. I'm not the true bed maker, I will tell you guys, during the week, I do not make my bed. Like, I just get out of here and I barely make it to work on time until the bus stop. But on the weekends, I am really diligent about making my bed to make sure that I don't get back in it so I can get everything I can get done that I want to get done for the day. Okay, you guys, so my next tip is to set timers. And this is where my Apple Watch comes in. I actually don't have it on right now. But this is where my Apple Watch comes in. So I like to use that and I like to tell Siri set a timer for 30 minutes. Siri set a timer for 20 minutes. Siri set a timer for an hour. And she really helps me. So what that does is when I look at my watch, I see how much time I have left for the task that I have determined that I'm going to do for that amount of time. So for instance, if I say Siri set a timer for 30 minutes and I have 30 minutes to fold my clothes, then I know I can look at that timer. And if I'm lollygagging and doing something I ain't got no business, like watching TV or something, then I know, okay, Kios, you got to pay attention, focus. You got to get these folks clothes folded within this 30 minutes because in the next 30 minutes you have this to do or the next 30 minutes you have this to do or the next hour you have this to do and that kind of helps you stay on task because you know there's a countdown there's a clock and you like trying to beat the clock and you know not procrastinate and not you know go off and do things you're not supposed to do so I definitely love to set timers and I find that if I set timers I get real competitive and I want to get finished before the timer goes off I kind of be upset kind of be low-key mad when I don't make it uh, earlier than the timer and the timer goes off. So set a timer to help you stay focused and stay on task. Okay, so my fifth tip is to take breaks, okay? So I will probably clean or do a task for about an hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes, and then I will take a 15 minute break. I love to take 15 minute breaks. So like in the morning, I'll get up out of bed and then I'll make my list and I may do one chore or one task for how many ever long, and then that 15 minutes, it's time to go eat breakfast. I'm not a like get right up and eat breakfast first, and I'll just like drink some water or something. This only takes me about 15 minutes or less to um, make breakfast. I make pretty quick breakfasts on the weekend. I don't do nothing extravagant or anything like that. So I like to go ahead and set 15 minute increments increments of time of time for me to take breaks so is usually 15 minutes the most i've ever taken a break during the day when i have tasks to do is like 30 minutes and it just depends on what's going on so for instance if i work an hour and 30 minutes cleaning up my room but i'm not quite done yet i go ahead and take a 15 minute break go get breakfast go get a snack you know lay down for a minute check my phone whatever the case may be when those 15 minutes is up and that timer goes off on my apple watch it's time to get back to business i put down whatever i was working on Whatever I was doing, I put it down and go back to another to the same task I was either doing so I can finish it or I start the new task that is on the list. So that's how I like to um, use my Apple Watch as a timer to kind of let me know that, okay, it's time to take a break. Now it's time to get back to work. Now it's time to take a break. Now it's time to get back to work. And I kind of do that throughout the day um, to make sure that I am not working too hard and I make time to stop and eat because sometimes I work so much that I'll forget to eat. That even comes when I'm editing videos or making videos I have to put breaks in there or I'll just be trying to edit or video all day and then next thing you know I haven't eaten all day or I haven't talked to anybody all day or I haven't looked on the phone all day or I haven't checked emails all day so you definitely have to make sure that you take those breaks in there and schedule everything accordingly okay you guys so the last thing you need to do is set a deadline so if you have a task on a certain day so for instance on Saturdays I like to be done on Saturdays and Sundays with all of my like work chores at 12 o'clock okay 12 o'clock p.m i'm done i'm done mopping floors i'm done cleaning kitchen i'm done cleaning up the den the living room my room the bathroom the office whatever the case may be i am completely done at 12 o'clock whatever task it is now when it's youtube days i'll do youtube to probably about 12 o'clock and then from 12 to like 2 or 12 to like 3 just depending on what's going on i'll do my home chores if i have any so that is kind of how i break that up 
but I do like to have deadlines that lets me know number one if I go over my time in certain areas that I've already scheduled out then I know I have till 12 o'clock and I like to beat that 12 o'clock time too because like I told you guys I love to pre my time I love to finish faster than what I think I am and I love to just get so much stuff done and I just feel so much productive your room your house your home always is nice and clean and it just feels really good to come into a clean environment and get everything you've done on your list you just feel really really accomplished and it makes you feel really good for the rest of the day so imagine you get everything done at 12 o'clock and now you can go out and have fun you can go out to the park with your kids you can go to the store you can do this you can do that so it's really great to be productive and have kind of strategies to help you be productive and stop wasting time Okay, you guys, so those are all my tips. So like it is, it's not rocket science. I promise you I am not doing anything special that nobody else does. I have just found techniques and things that work for me. So, you know, sometimes I say, like I said, I get up in the morning and I like to do stuff early in the morning, but some people might be a night hawk, so you might not like to do your chores morning. You might want to do them in the evening, you know, like from five to 12 midnight. Just find out what works for you. It's not like a cookie cutter type situation. You know, if you feel like, okay, I can't do the 30 minute increments of cleaning, then do 30 minutes and then take your break. Do another 30 minutes, take your break. If you can go four hours before you take a break, go four hours hours is to each his own do you boo but just make sure you're being productive and you're not wasting time and you're making those lists and you're scheduling out and you're setting deadlines so that you don't be around here working and working all day long okay you guys so that was my video thank you so much for watching once again help me reach 10,000 subscribers and go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and i'll see y'all in the next video bye